Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to have a detailed benchmarking test review of Infinix 05 smartphone. It comes with Helio P25 processor, 6GB of RAM, 64GB internal storage, 6 inch full HD screen and it runs on Android 7 Nougat OS. So the benchmarking applications we got today here, they are Android Benchmarking, Geekbench 4, Basemark X and Basemark OS 2. So we have already performed all of these tests to save your time and we are going to have a look at how much all these hardware specs of Infinix 05 contributed in these benchmarking test scores. So let's just start it. So first of all let's have a look on Antutu Benchmarking. It's one of the most popular benchmarking application. And here we go. Infinix 05 scored 67,411. And considering its hardware specs, it's uh, quite good. It's not so great, but it's still good enough. And if you go to this ranking tab, here you can compare the result of Infinix 05 with rest of the flagship smartphones. So you can see at first position, it's iPhone 8 Plus with. 217,385 this is too big compared to our Infinix 05 so let's go down and let's have a look in the range of our device so here is Infinix 05 at 51st position with 67,411 and right above this is Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge with 131,000 so you can see that even between Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and Infinix 05 there is huge difference and S7 Edge is scoring twice of our Infinix 05 but considering the hardware specs it got the Mali T880 GPU uh, Helio P25 processor this benchmarking test score is good but it's not so great obviously because we have seen a better performance by Infinix 04 Plus. And we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison and a speed test comparison of Infinix 05 with 04 Plus as well. So we will come to know that really what happened from 04 Plus to the next generation of Infinix smartphone that's Infinix 05. So let's go back from here and now let's have a look on Basemark OS 2. Here is the overall score, it's 1490 and you can also have a look on system memory graphics and web browsing. You can see that for system, the performance of 05 is good but when it comes to graphics and memory, it's not so great. Especially when we are talking about graphics because it has Mali T880 GPU that is not one of the best Mali GPU because Few of the high-end Mali GPUs are G71, G72. So the graphic performance in benchmarking test result is a bit low, but we will do a detailed gaming review of Infinix 05 very soon where we will see that how good this device is going to perform in real life scenario, not only in the benchmarking test scores. But right now we are concerned about the benchmarking test score and in Basemark OS 2 it's 1490. And now let's have a look on Basemark X. It's a gaming benchmarking test so basically it gives the idea about the gaming performance and here we go it's 19,910 so we can consider this as 20,000 and it's quite good it's not so great because we have seen high-end flagship devices they are scoring around 45,000 but considering the price and specs of Infinix 05 this score is quite good as well and I said already that we will do a detailed gaming review of Infinix 05 and we will see that how good this device is going to perform while playing few of the most high-end games. And now let's have a look on the last test for today and that's Geekbench 4. Here we go with CPU test score. So for single core it's 849 and for multi core it's 4072. So, um, so for single core it's not so great but for multi core the performance is quite good and if you go to these individual tabs you can compare the result here so you can see that our device with MT6757 CD that's Helio P25 it has scored 849 and then you can have a look on the rest of the 
smartphones like Galaxy S7 scored 1806 go down and here you will find something closer to our device that's LG Nexus 5 running on Snapdragon 800 processor it is scored 859 so Snapdragon 800 is quite old right now and uh, you can compare its performance with P25 Helio P25 if you want and here is the multi-core score so our device scored 4072 and Galaxy Note 7 scored 5228 so this performance for multi-core by Infinix 05 is quite good as you can see Galaxy Note 7 is a flagship device with high-end hardware specs but still there is not huge difference in the multi-core as we have seen in the single core so in multi-core Geekbench for performance of Infinix 05 is quite good and here you can see that OnePlus 3 running on Snapdragon 820 it has scored 4015 and our device has scored 4072 so you can get the idea about the performance of 05 that it's as good as Snapdragon 820 when it comes to multi-core at Geekbench for benchmarking test so let's go back and now let's have a look on compute and the result is 2963 and if you go to this tab once again you can compare the result with the rest of the smartphone so our device comes right above the Galaxy S7 and below Nexus 6 so even in this test performance of Infinix 05 is quite good so in the previous three tests and to the benchmarking Basemark OS 2 and Basemark X, the performance of Infinix 05 was moderate considering the hardware specs. It's not so great, it's just average, but here in Geekbench 4, it's performing quite good. These are just the benchmarking test score. We are going to do a detailed gaming review and lots of hands-on tests to see that how good this device is going to perform when we are using it in real life, not only in the benchmarking tests. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands on videos like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video, have a nice day.